uh, I'm Shuji Kawaguchi of Kyoto University, uh, not Sushi. <laughs> Today I want to talk about uh, predic prediction, uh, method of prediction of causal genes for Mendelian disorders. Uh, for Mendelian disorders, uh, identification of novel causal gene is um, very important uh, to uh, diagon genetical diagnosis. Okay. It, it works. But, uh, however, uh, the actual success rate of uh, genetic diagnosis is yet uh, around 30%. Also, uh, whole genome sequencing technology is improved and uh, makes low cost. So to, uh, to address this problem, uh, uh, we developed uh, a method uh, to uh, predict uh, novel causal genes by using uh, whole genome sequence and uh, uh, AI technology based on Watson, IBM Watson. Uh, then we uh, adapt uh, uh, the developed method, a feasible study of uh, of uh, uh, Latinx pigmental cells. So uh, the, our final uh, target is uh, uh, improve the diagnosis rate to uh, more than 70 percent, but uh, my our research is halfway. Then uh, this and the next slide shows uh, why uh, why a detection of causal gene is difficult. By uh, using, by searching the uh, whole gene sequence, uh, we can detect uh, 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 variants specifically to case. So uh, we set this uh, yeah. gene as candidate, and then uh, advanced analysis uh, such as the trio data or familiar family data, uh, or protein interaction, uh, or metabolic pathway, or ontology, uh, by researching uh, such information. And then uh, we uh, decide uh, this, uh, this candidate is causal or not. But, uh, but there are many uh, variants when we analyze the uh, whole genome sequence. So, uh, so we must do uh, advanced analysis for all uh, candidates. Then uh, we decide to, uh, we must decide, uh, we decide uh, this uh, candidate is causal or unrelated. S but, uh, but uh, unfortunately, uh, all most of the candidates are false positive by, um, by a chance. So, uh, so uh, to uh, analyze all candidates is very time confusing and expensive. So uh, we want to get back breakthrough to identify optimal candidates then uh, we uh, used uh, IBM Watson who, are, uh, who solved the problem. The, there is uh, Watson a drug discovery, WDD. WDD is uh, one of the solution of uh, IBM Watson. Then WDD incorporates incorporate tens, million, tens millions of articles in med Medri and uh, discover relations between genes and disease and drugs. Then uh, predictive analysis is one of the functions of WDD. Yeah. Then prediction analysis PA need, needs uh, two lists. One is known gene list, and the other is candidate gene list. The predictive analysis is uh, ranks the uh, this candidate gene list by uh, using uh, similarity of known gene list. Uh, with candidate gene. But however, uh, WDD uh, does not work when uh, all gene candidates, uh, uh, when input all gene candidates as K 
candidate gene list. So appropriate selection of uh, this list is important for predictive analysis. So uh, we created uh, uh, these two lists as the first uh, creation of non-gene lists. Uh, several years ago, our group searched the causal variants of the Latinitis pigmentos by target to exon analysis of 365 genes against 326 RPs uh, patients. And uh, we detected the causal variant uh, in 30 genes, and 122 cases uh, correspond to 37.4% uh, were genetically diagnosed. Yeah. And uh, there is uh, another information uh, called uh, RedNet database. RedNet database provides information of genes and genetic loss causing inherited ret retinal diseases. In the database, uh, 90 causal genes of RP are registered uh, at September of last year. Then uh, this past study and the uh, RedNet database is suitable to uh, known gene list and uh, used to create candidate lists. Uh, I I will explain next slide. Uh, this slide shows the creation of candidate in list. Then uh, we used the uh, whole genome sequence uh, data of 523 RP cases and uh, 2,143 uh, controls. Then uh, then we decided the criteria for variants to uh, fit uh, to non-causal genes. Then we decided uh, criteria for variants as follows. <coughs> One is uh, stop gain or splicing, or uh, variant is stop gain or splicing or frame shift. The second is uh, uh, for the uh, non-synonymous um, mutations, uh, yeah, four, four or more of nine protein function prediction software, uh, if, if four or more of nine protein function prediction software uh, predict the mutation as uh, damaged, then uh, third is uh, minor arithmetic sheets in RP case is 1.5 times or greater than the in controls. Then uh, if uh, at least one RP case are uh, homozygote or compound heterozygote was the above, uh, uh, satisfies above one, uh, one and two and three conditions, uh, we set, uh, we pick up uh, this gene, at uh, this gene, and uh, 1,028 uh, genes are satisfied this condition for, the among which uh, 34 genes are, uh, were uh, non-causal genes, and uh, 68, uh, 68 uh, is RPs, and uh, one is control, so this criteria is very fit to known genes. Ha, however, uh, the other nine, 994 genes, uh, 435 is RPs, <coughs> but, uh, but also 423 controls is also having uh, variants in G. Uh, a homozygote or compound heteros in these genes. So this criteria is also uh, having high horse positive rate. So, but uh, I think uh, many true causal genes are included in this 994 genes. So, uh, 
We set these genes, genes as candidate lists and rank them by WDD. The, this slide shows the uh, uh, workflow to identify causal genes. That's first uh, input uh, known information and set genes as known gene lists. Then uh, by using whole genome sequence data set, uh, uh, create criteria for variants and uh, create uh, create the uh, candidate gene list. Shuji, yeah. how do you show when it's a causal gene? How do you prove it's a causal gene? Ah, this this is uh, this is this, uh, mm, not not decided uh, by awards and. Uh, and uh, RP uh, non gene they is uh, decoded in database. Then this database uh, was created by other papers or research results. Then this known is uh, already. Uh, okay, if you find a new one though, how do you prove it's a causal gene? How do you, how do you sh demonstrate? A gene is causal for RP. Can I answer for him? Yeah. <clears throat> I think that it is at the end he wants to, whatever he will have as the top candidate, he will take it for genetic diagnosis. That's my, I, I but think. But that, that doesn't prove it's a causal gene. Yeah. Uh, so, so some is uh, by checking with a uh, territorial data or family data. If you see it segregated, yes, yes, something like that. Yeah, okay. Yes. Uh, so uh, then set two lists to uh, what's on drug discovery and the WDD sort so to and the calculate uh, sorry calculate the score and sorting these candidates. Then uh, we used uh, two strategies for WDD. And it, it I will explain after. Then uh, we tested the uh, developed method by using the uh, RP case. To, uh, some of them are already uh, already diagnosed by known genes. Then uh, there are. Uh, 326 uh, patients, patients and uh, 36, uh, sorry, 37.5 percent cases are already diagnosed. And then we performed uh, whole genome sequence to list 135 cases. And the list is uh, now ongoing. So uh, we adjusted the rate of diagnosis. As follows. Here is uh, 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 calculated diagnosis data. Then, uh, sorry, uh, blue uh, blue solid line uh, is uh, uh, ordinary use of uh, ordinary use of uh, WDD. And this zero point shows the uh, diagnosis rated by only using uh, known genes. And the multiple uh, diagnosis rate was increased. But uh, by ordinary use of WDD, uh, after top 50 ranked candidates, uh, positive rate is also slightly increased. I think this is because uh, uh, lower ranked gene is uh, uh, affected by these top ranked genes. So we uh, so we use other strategies uh, called recursive method. At first. Uh, WDD ranked only top 20 uh, 
genes and uh, uh, picked up these top 20 genes and removed uh, these 20 genes from candidate lists. Then uh, WDD uh, rank, uh, sorry, WDD ranked again, uh, ranked again list candidate list, and then uh, WDD ranked top 20 genes, and then removed these top 20 and and continued until uh, false positive rate is uh, reached at some uh, some threshold. By using the uh, recursive method, uh, uh, false positive rate is backed to a very low ranked uh, candidates. So by using uh, top 80 ranked candidates, uh, diagonal rate is uh, improved to 52%. Then uh, I we checked the top top 50 ranked genes. In top 50, uh, in top 50 genes, uh, 17 genes are causal genes of other retinal diseases. Indeed, uh, 90 of 37 RP causal genes are also the causal of other uh, retinal diseases in RetNet database. And uh, 15 of uh, four of 50 genes uh, are in the same gene family to which known RP causal genes belong. And uh, we, uh, we used the uh, known uh, causal gene list at uh, September of, last of the last year. Then after, <laughs> then after two genes were uh, very recently added to RetNet. So I think uh, uh, we, we don't say all of top rank genes are truly causal genes, but WDD seems to rank candidates genes uh, correctly. That's the summary. So we uh, developed the prediction method of uh, causal genes for Mendelian disorders by using uh, whole genome sequence and uh, Watson for drug discoveries. Then uh, we uh, do feasible studies of RPs and uh, uh, then we find that many top ranked candidates share structure functional features with known RP genes. And uh, two top ranked genes were registered very recently in RetNet, which suggests that our AI approach is useful. Uh, then uh, by uh, including the top ranked genes, uh, uh, diagnosis rate were increased 50% without increasing the false positive rate. So finally, we want to introduce the vision of the developed method. Uh, our group, ah, sorry, okay, time is now. One minute. One minute. Our group tackled to construct integrated platform register for this uh, called Rada J. Then developed method are uh, also integrated in these systems. So I want to say many thanks. Uh, for collaborators, and uh, thank you for your attention. Any radar questions? Yeah. So, um, is it possible that your false positives uh, are coming because of uh, uh, penetrance issues? So, it is possible that the mutation exists but doesn't express itself in the disease. Uh, this is called penetrance in uh, uh, Pen genetics. The penetrance of a disease. Yeah? Have you heard of that concept? Sometimes the mutation exists, but it does not express itself in uh, the disease. Sorry, I, I He's giving you more credit, uh, uh, the program more credit than we see. Yeah. He's optimistic. 
Can I just say something about all these short talks? I asked the speakers of the short talks and the workshops to also have their abstracts. So the idea is to draw you also to their, uh, sorry, their posters. So if you can just, if you're in more, in, interested in more discussion, they should also stay there, stay near their posters. Do you, um, do you focus on exons uh, rather than intragenic? Uh, yes, I will now only uh, focus on Exxon. Right. Just another level of difficulty. Yes. I mean, the other thing that's weird is in yeast, the, a lot of people are finding that uh, synonymous mutations actually lead to a, a phenotype. Mm -hmm. Something like twenty-five percent. Yeah, that's what you said. And uh, so it's it's always intriguing to think of all the variation that we're ignoring when we do these, <coughs> these studies because it's so difficult to capture it all. Right. Yeah, you got a very good point. And my, I'm a correlate out here. And so, for example, if you have mutations in a very important part of the regulatory element. And if the patient is heterozygous for that mutation, and heterozygous for the protein coding mutation, then you know only one allele can be transcribed, and the right yeah behaves like a, like a homozygote. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's very important point. <coughs> Just a quick one. Sure. Not, not sure if you said it. How many cases of retinitis pigmentosa are considered to be of a genetic origin? Now. Mm. How many? Mm. What fraction? Yeah. yeah. Can I ask a question for sure, you? Sure. I'm sorry. It is considered as at least fifty percent uh sort of family cluster or or hereditary. And the other fifty percent we don't know much about that. It can be the novel mutation, it can be because of the lack of the information of family. So we don't have very clear score or number how much fraction of the disease is hereditary. So but it is said more than 50%, yeah. which is generally accepted. But, but, but not yet uh, correctly checked the uh, variance. It, it is a test simulation result uh, and assumed that uh, Top ranked genes are uh, assumed that top ranked genes are causal genes. So, and uh, and we uh, we are not uh, considered uh, of uh, only uh, recessive model, not not increasingly dominant model. Uh, if uh, we are but uh, because uh, dominant model is uh, uh, more difficult to predict because uh, false positive rate is very uh, improved because uh, uh, there are many uh, variants if uh, we assume the uh, uh, dominant model. But uh, it is future work. So. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much, Shuki, for a great talk. Thank you very much.